One of the things I love about John's character is that he's, he's gray. It's, uh, you know, he actually believes he's right, and from some perspective, he's absolutely right. Look, if you follow the trajectory of the Transformers films, the Earth is not a great place in uh, 2017 as is, as because of the Transformers' involvement with our affairs. And so he's not wrong. Uh, just, you know, it's just a way of looking at the world, and I think that makes for an interesting villain. Do you want to see some footage? This yes. is Comic-Con! Sell the footage! So Sell the footage! Sell the footage! Sell the footage! Do you expect to star in more movies after this, John? Uh... <laughs> 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 That, the pressure is on, jeez. Well, the answer to that question kind of depends on you. Uh, <laughs> if, if you enjoy the movie, and I think continuously scream at the top of your lungs, John Cena, <laughs> then people will kind of want to be able to put me in more movies, so I, I, that would be cool if that happened. <laughs> but if it doesn't, that's also okay, because I can still go back to being John Cena. You'll always be John Cena. I've had a wonderfully successful career in the WWE, and I, I, I uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, and I pride myself on, on, on kind of my, my character there, and I know that that's uh, probably not gonna evolve past being a good guy. Like, I don't know if I'll ever be a bad guy in the WWE. Um, so it was extremely inviting to be um, kind, of, kind of be gray uh, in Bumblebee and believe that what I was doing is right, but be, uh, be essentially a bad guy. So you guys will get to, I guess all those um, WWE folks who are looking to see a heel John Cena, and the, that's inside baseball, a bad guy John Cena, <laughs> will be able to kind of get a glimpse of that for Bumblebee. So I was, I'm really excited about it. A lot of people don't necessarily appreciate that when you see an, an actor on screen with something that was generated in a computer, it's just ones and zeros, that in the moment, there's nothing there. And so Haley has to give a, a very believable performance with something that she can't even see and imagine what it could be. Now for me, from an animator's point of view, it's all in my head. I see everything that's happening. I see Haley and I see a robot there, you know, interacting with her. But for, you know, for, for an actor, I mean, it has to be an authentic, believable emotional performance for us all to buy into it. And so I think it really is a testament to Haley's talent and the talent of the rest of her cast that they were able to kind of buy into this idea that there is this emotional creature in front of them when, where none existed. I think Bumblebee will surprise people because in the previous films we've seen Bumblebee as you know something of a warrior and he's great, he's great at fighting, but it, it, one of the things I'm most proud of in this film is how believable and emotional and authentic he is in the film. So that comes down to our animators who actually bring him to life. But back when I was a kid, <laughs> to have a toy change into another toy truly was more than meets the eye, like it was absolutely amazing. So to be a kid and to see this thing that you could only imagine be real and then you could be creative with this thing and then change it into something else and be creative with it again, I absolutely loved getting two toys when I got one toy. <laughs> and I think, uh, well, um, there's another I question think, there. But wait I think we have one more question actually. Yeah, okay. how, excuse me young man, how old are you? People of Hall H. I have a question. So <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Peter Cullen, Optimus Prime, going way, way back. <laughs> Peter, what's your question? Travis Knight. Uh -oh. My name is Optimus Prime. <laughs> I could not help but notice my absence in much of your footage. Well, <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure there's a question, Norik, there. But, uh... It's not really a question, in fairness. Uh, <laughs> the movie's called Bumblebee. It's about Bumblebee, so it's really his moment in the sun, uh, Mr. Cohen. Well, in that case, what does an Autobot have to do to get his own movie? <laughs> <laughs> fair question. It's a fair question. 
Fair question, fair question. Tough but fair. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe uh, we could showcase your emotional range. Why don't, why don't you show us, uh, I don't know, joyful exuberance? <laughs> Rightfully so. I am elated to be here. <laughs> All right, I'm sold. I'm sold. <laughs>